Hello everyone, Shadowrock here, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at Mighty Gumball Burst on the 3DS, so here it is. Pretty nice, you just got the logo, and the icon has GV and Beck there, that's cool. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and start it up. Yes, take that! And it, the point of this video is basically to see how well this game actually performs compared to the Nintendo Switch version, which I primarily am going to play on. So here we go. Now one of the things that I was really worried about was the frame rate. Let's go ahead and start while I'm talking about this too. Uh, this will do as well. So one of the things I was really worried about going to this game was the frame rate because when Blaster Master Zero came out on the Switch, it was at a rock solid 60 frames per second. And then the 3DS version came and it wasn't that good in my opinion. I, I tested it on both the on both the old 3DS and the new 3DS hardware. It was at a just at a steady 30 frames per second. Which, for these kind of action games that Angie Creates produce, it's not that good. I wouldn't say it was unplayable, but man, it just made me want to go back to the Switch version right away. But this here, come on, there you go, yeah, this here, it looks 60 frames per second. I mean, it basically is. <laughs> So that's really good news, and I'm, I'm recording this on the old 3DS as well. Which I kind of have to, I have no choice, because that's the only thing I have a capture card for. So that's even more impressive. And yeah, it's kind of weird for me to say pixel art games are impressive. But you know, anti games has not always been guaranteed to be 60 FPS experiences on the 3DS. Look at Gunvolt, for example, the Action Striker Gunvolt series. That was always a dirty FPS experience, though, to be fair, I actually never realized that it wasn't 60 until the Striker Pack on the Switch was announced. I'm like, hey, it's 60 FPS now. Wait, what? It wasn't before? Alright, cool. <laughs> so that was one instance where I really didn't care before. But with Blaster Master Zero, I guess coming from the Switch version, I definitely noticed it. It was quite jarring I must say but going back to this game itself it's actually running really well rock saw 60 the controls are as fluid as they are on the switch I get play in the face by a bomb awesome stuff and uh, all, the main difference between the switch version and the 3ds version is going to be that you're not going to be able to do the thousand ability so what the Dowsing ability did in the Switch version is the Switch version obviously has rumble, as they call it, HD rumble. So when you picked up this Dowsing ability and equipped it, whenever you got close to a hidden wall or a hidden passage, so some kind of secret, that your controller would start to vibrate to alert you that there is a secret nearby. Unfortunately for you guys that are going to be playing the 3DS version, you cannot use that, so I say good luck of finding those secrets. You're basically gonna have to, you know, shoot around everywhere and try to figure out where everything is. Luckily for you guys, I already made a tutorial on finding all the secret items in the game. And I'll put that in the link in the description below. So you guys can use that as a reference and try to memorize where everything is. So that should help you guys out a lot because again, Dow's an ability, it's not gonna help you. It doesn't exist. I can even look at it right now. Go to customize. And the customize system is also still intact. Why, why wouldn't it be, right? But yeah, as you can see, I should have picked up the Dallas and ability right at the beginning of the level. But I did not. It wasn't even there. So the option is not here. So that's your little proof. But otherwise, performance wise. This version doesn't seem to be much of a slouch itself, so that's good. Good job, NT Crates. <laughs> ah. That being said, I would rather play on the Switch version just because I have these giant gorilla hands, and playing on the 3DS for too long is gonna start to make my cr uh, my hands cramp a lot. 
So there's that. Oh god. Yeah, I'm sucking pretty hard. I want to go back to the Switch version, please. <laughs> Just kidding. It's alright. It works well. We're used to these smaller buttons. There we go, we complete the level. I was just gonna look at the first level for today. And the cutscenes seem to be pretty much the same. There's Edgelord Beck. Well, he actually just left. Oh, Usually I get S. That's fine. But yeah, look, looks like uh, pretty much the game's gonna be the same. You still have the same options of items to pick up. Yeah! And there you go. So I'm pretty sure the game is the same otherwise. It, there's no reason why it shouldn't be. The only difference is the Dowsing ability. And then, yeah. There's no real differences other than that. The, the performance is the same as the Switch version. And yeah. Also, there, you can't really do anything with the touchscreen. I do know people were concerned about that. Because of Blaster Master Zero. You couldn't do a thing in the touchscreen as well. Because these games are honestly developed for the Switch, let's be completely honest here. And you know, the Switch doesn't really use touchscreen that much, unless you're in handheld mode. But definitely not two screens at once. And I'm touching the touchscreen right now, and yeah, I can't do anything with it. So this is definitely a one screen experience here. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching. And it's been me, Shadowrock. Hope you enjoyed the video. And that guide for getting all the items will be in the description below. Again, until next time, rock on and have a nice day.